I can't leave this dog. I love, I love this dog so much. This is this is sugar, sugar reincarnate. Look at her. Oh my. I mean, every day goodness. we get to just snuggle her. Oh. Her name is Tess. Oh, Tess. Tess. Oh my goodness. Will you come with us? Oh, you almost got me. <laughs> I just was diagnosed with basal cell cancer here on my eye, and I've got to have surgery on Tuesday. I am nervous how close this cell is to my eye. Well, this sucks, but it's not going to keep me from living outdoors. Four boats so far, three RVs. It's been 20-something years of adventures and a lot of time out in the sun. Unfortunately, not always protected. That tropical sun does a number on you from above and below. The reflections off the water can be intense. We actually selected our last boat because it had so much good shade, but still always a challenge to stay out of the sun. I started getting suspicious a few weeks ago, so I had a chat with a dermatologist. If you have a little pimple or something and it goes away in a week or two, it's probably just a pimple. But if it's week four or week five and your pimple's not better, you might want to have that checked. You know, just keep an eye on things and, and get stuff addressed as soon as you can. So what the, what's the deal? Are we all going on a diet? What's the deal? Nick, I hate to tell you this, but you're not going to eat for the next 72 hours with me. We're partners in this, in everything. <laughs> I've only gone to 41 hours and this time I want to up my game to 72 hours. What do you want? Huh? Are you hungry too? Because I'm sure you're not going to even mention anything about how hungry you are, how long it's been, right? It's silence from here on out. You're not even going to know that I'm not eating. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Already, <laughs> I think it's been five or ten minutes, and uh, as it turns out, there's already a change in plan. Okay, listen. This is your second to second course <laughs> yeah. in your last. Yeah, I think you're gonna you know, have a few. Oh, down it. We're 72 hours. Okay. We should literally have a check-in every hour. Are you nervous? Yes. I am having surgery on my face. It's a little spot, I don't know if you can see it. I've been watching it for a few months now. Turns out it's basal cell cancer. It's about nine years ago when I discovered a similar bump on my nose, and that turned out to be basal cell cancer as well. Australia, you have it nailed when it comes to diagnosing skin cancer and getting it taken care of quickly. There are clinics all up and down the coast that you can just call up and say, hey, can you check out this mole? And they get you in. This process is incredibly simple and affordable. The checkup was $110, and this surgery is only gonna cost me $840. Australian. Australian. Nick hooked me up with some really good shades, so nobody's gonna be able to see my bandage. It's right out of Mad Max. How would they know? They'll never know. They're not gonna know. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got a lot of confidence. My doctor has 30 years of experience. He founded this clinic. Well, thank you so much, sir, for taking me. Sir. Okay, we've started the procedure. We've got a numbed up eye. Am I going to be famous? Do you want to be famous? I'm famous already. You never know. Is it too close to my eye? It's very close to your eye, so it's a bit tricky. But that's what we do here at Olive's Pat Skin Cancer Emporium. So. All right. I just want to be able to see your work before you put the bandage on. Sure. Thank you so much. Oh, you're I welcome. really appreciate it. It was so, so great to meet you. Work, you lucky girl. <laughs> Oh, can I get a tear? Can I get a tear? Oh, honey. I know. Looks like you got punched. I do feel like I was punched. Um, yeah, it's very achy. I think the drugs are wearing off. Have you ever been punched? I've never been punched. <laughs> uh, the doctor could not have been any more proficient. He was hilarious. He said that the thread he was using was so fine he could stitch a fart to a cloud. 
<laughs> How are you supposed to not laugh while you're having an eye surgery? It's hard. You have to go like this. <laughs> Good job. So, yay! yay! All done. And Nick got me some treats. Yeah. Let's see what you got me. Low carb cookie bites. So we just got a call from my doctor's office. I just had the surgery yesterday. And she says, um, this is gonna be a strange call. And I'm like, uh-oh, and she's like, it's all good. But the doctor from uh, the pathology group, NHS, he is a big fan of your YouTube channel. So the bill of $101, um, he just said to say thank you so much <laughs> for all your videos. <laughs> Can you believe that? John, thank you. That wow. is so sweet. The big reveal. I was worried about getting this bandage off. It was really stuck and there was a big blood clot underneath. But I just put it in the shower and it came off relatively easy. How are you feeling about it? Oh, I feel great. So relieved. I feel so much trust in the body to heal this up. No big deal. It feels so good to have the bandage off. Whew. Yeah. All right, I'm off to the doctor to get my stitches removed. And I think it's really looking good. Really excited to get this totally taken care of before we head out in a couple of days. That was actually kind of painful. It just was really hard to get the, to find the stitch because they kind of embed themselves. Ah, I'm relieved, we're done. Thankfully, basal cell carcinoma is benign and all I have to deal with is a little scar. It's not like it's melanoma where hopefully people understand that they see a dark lesion that's getting bigger or irregular, but that can be very serious, very fast. Unfortunately, my friend and fellow sailor, Lori, was not so lucky. She was diagnosed with stage three melanoma, which means it spread to her lymph nodes. Two, yeah, three years out, um, still under watch. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I'm still getting scans every six months at this point. And it's, it's, it's deceiving because people don't understand the severity of skin cancer, let alone melanoma. You think that once you finish treatment, you're done and you're not, it continues. And so the, the being proactive, being preventative, is the absolute key to all of this. Um, 9,500 people are diagnosed with skin cancer every day. There are more, more cases of skin cancer than there are of all other cancers. That's mine. So how do we keep this party going? I mean, we want to live out in the sun, but we certainly don't want to get nuked. I have always been extremely responsible in the sun. Covered head to toe. <laughs> okay, I haven't been. But Megan's been a great role model. <laughs> Enjoying the sun with a little protection. Perfection. My teenage days of laying in sunbeds are long gone. This is going to sound like a commercial, and I guess it kind of is, because slip-ins have been a game changer for me. The link is look in the these. description look below. At these, look 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 at these. No joke, Megan is wearing these on and off the boat everywhere. Were you wearing them on the airplane? I was actually. I'm hopefully going to go find the spotted eagle rays and see if I can just swim among them. I think you need to be cast in the next Avatar. And look, and my mermaid necklace. This matches this. What else? The hat matches. You are fully color coordinated. <laughs> I know what you're asking. Do they come in men's sizes? Well, yeah, sort of. Good. Turn around. You want some of this? You, you want here. some of this beef? Sure. Where's my guitar? I need my guitar. <laughs> David Lee Roth has got nothing on me. What's happening? You might be asking, how's the boat search going? Well, uh, more dead ends. We had one more promising lead in Australia. This boat would have fit the bill. This time though, it was complicated. The guy didn't want to sell through his broker, but he had a brokerage contract. He said they were doing a bad job and not worth the commission, yet he was bound by the contract. So what do we do? I don't really understand why people aren't more decisive about selling their boats. Just 
you decide, hey, it's time, I'm done, the boat's for sale, here's the price, I'm motivated, what's with all the, uh, well, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence, I could keep going with it. As much as we hate to leave Australia, I think we're tapped out here on boats. So it's time to travel further afield. And it's time to book tickets back to the States. Where are we? Actually, don't know. <laughs> Something National Park. Kugel. Kugel. Kugel Falls. Kugel Falls. Kugel Park. It's definitely in a protected area. Rainforest. Rainforest. Aboriginals used to live here. I'll be honest with you, this boat search, boat buying thing has been a bit discouraging. But we haven't been completely bummed out the whole time. It's been great hanging out with lots of new friends. We're in the rainforest here in Budrum. Budrum. It's a beautiful rainforest and you can walk along this path here for miles. It's one of those ants. It looks like somebody got him. I know. Oh. We've finally found our first wild snake. It's a carpet python. Carpets? I think it lives in the wild carpets of Sunshine Coast. He's just at your house. Oh, you are brave. Hey. Yeah. Can you just shut up at your place? Hi. Yeah, well, I've got pet rats, so they come because of the smell of the rat. Yeah. He won't oh, snap yeah. at you, love it. Oh. I've already been holding him for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, pushing up me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> is it a girl or a boy? Um, I think it's a boy from the size of his tail length from his cloaca. Oh my god. Hello. So, so cool. you're just going to release him here. See what he does. Yeah. That's where they live. Yeah. Oh yeah. He just traveled. Have you tried to get up that place? Hey, there you go. Jump. Bye bye ladies. Bye bye. Oh, he's tall. He's yeah. tall. What you got up here? <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get the Australia experience. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of the Australia experience, who knew they were into slot machines or, or whatever this is? They call it the Pokies. We are, uh, we're at the Pokies. <laughs> we gotta try it. Yeah, we gotta poke the Pokies. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this button right here. Ready? Okay. So, so that should be worth something. <laughs> that should be worth something. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, now you win. What did I just win? Is there a lot of bird poop on our car? No, we're not under a tree. Jeez. What a freaky air. It must be 5,000 out there. 10,000. <laughs> Snags. Snags, all right. Snags on the barbie. All right. And your fillet steak. Fillets. Fillet steaks and right. snags. It's happening. We out of here. It's time to go. Where to? Oh, we'll see. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye bye. bye.
we thinking now? It's so cold here. <laughs> but we had to come back because Australia, sorry, you didn't have any boats for us. You ran out of boats. We looked at every single one of them. We're back in the U.S. because yes, there is a potential craft for us not too far from here. We're gonna go see it in a couple days. And we've got our expectations in check, but we're hopeful. Yes, so thank you all so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And a big thank you to all of our Australian friends. It was amazing to sample your country and I just can't wait to go back. Yes, we will definitely be back. By boat. <laughs> and a special thanks as always to our patrons. We love you and we'll do a Zoom call with you soon. And, and a big thank you to really all of you for spending your time and following along with us. It's been great. See you next week. Bye. The difference between an ordeal and an adventure is attitude. So I like that. I, I choose to see this with a lot of positivity and abundance. Oh.